Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in Mid-Journey and I'm going to show you how to take an image or a piece of art generated in Mid-Journey and turn it into vector art. And we're going to do it in just a couple of minutes. And not only that, it's going to be incredible and we're going to do it for free. It's crazy and we don't even have to use Adobe Illustrator. We're going to use another AI program. So big claim, let's back it up. Here's an example of the image that I created, a nice simple uh, logo type bulldog. If I go into Illustrator, you'll see here that I've got that exact same image. Look at this, the exact same image, but it is completely vectorized. You can see here when I'm in the layers panel, I drop it down and all these paths are there. You can see the little blue dots. So you know that all these handles are all there. And if I pull one, yes, it's vectorized. So how the heck did I do it? Well, and how did I do it for free? <laughs> all right, let's go. It should only take about two minutes for me to show you. First step, let's go ahead and create an image. All you need to do is go forward slash imagine and then copy in a prompt that you want to use. In this case, I'm gonna use an English Bulldog in a vector art cartoon style, comma, flat color, dash, dash, no outline. I don't want any outlines around it or anything like that. You can use whatever you want to create. This is just an example that works for me. So here's an example of a Bulldog that I created earlier. Let's go ahead and vectorize this little wolf. Okay, I'm gonna click on his image. I'm gonna right click, and then I'm going to save that image right onto the desktop. Presto, done. I've already done it, but I'm gonna replace it. So we've saved the image to the desktop. Now, next step, go to your finder or your explorer and grab that little image of yours. So I'm gonna use this bulldog as an example. I'm gonna to go to Google Chrome, and there's a website called vectorizer.ai. I'll put a link in the description below. But very simple, it's in beta, it's currently free as of April 2nd, 2023. And you can drop your image in and it will turn it into a vector. So let's go ahead and do it. Grab the image, which is this little bulldog, drag and drop it here, and then let it do its thing. It's very, very quick and uh, it does an incredible job. I'm not gonna lie, this is absolutely mind blowing. Look at this, this is the original image on the left and this is the vectorized bulldog on the right. It is almost exact, like this is crazy. All right, it's done a good job. All you gotta do now is click on download and there it is. And you'll see here that it says SVG, which means scalable vector graphic. I'm gonna show it in my finder and there it is. There's my image of my bulldog in the vector format. I'm gonna go into now into Adobe Illustrator and this is not a necessary step, but I just wanna show you that this is how we can prove that it's an SVG or a vector graphic. Drag and drop it in and drop it. Bang, there it is. And to check, just go ahead and switch to the direct selection tool and then select everything. And when you do, look at that. You can now see all of the path and you can grab any one of these handles and go nuts, just like I'm gonna do here. So if I wanted this to be way out here, it's all vector graphic. This is unbelievable. That is all there is to it. One final step I recommend is you wanna go to file and then you may wanna save this as a AI file or an Adobe Illustrator file. SVGs are good, but it's nice to have a backup as a Adobe Illustrator only file. Not necessary, but there you go, guys. That's all there is to it. We went from mid-journey to scalable vector graphic to incredible vector art in seconds. Thanks for watching.